So, the end of a really cool few days here in the States. Filming around the States, I've done everything on this trip. 737s up to Alaska, I've done ultra low cost airlines across the States. And it was at that point my microphone decided to stop working, so I'll pick it up from here. Today I'm flying in Polaris Business Class on United Airlines on a Boeing 767, heading from here at Chicago O'Hare back to London Heathrow. Hello, Beth. I'm good, thanks. How are you? All right, straight through the middle. Thank you. Yeah, enjoy your flight. Thank you. There's a dedicated security checkpoint for United's Polaris passengers at the end of the check-in hall, which had no queue at all, and within a few minutes I was airside. I just love the architecture of the terminals here at O'Hare, it really evokes a sense of travel and adventure. Today I was flying from the sea concourse, which meant going once again through the beautiful rainbow tunnel. Oh, it's that cool tunnel again. Yay! The light tunnel. Um, I have to admit, I was talking to Rachel on the phone at that point. The Polaris Lounge is at the other end of the tunnel in the sea concourse and I had about an hour to kill here ahead of my flight. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Alright? Good. How are you today? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome in. Thank you very much. Hello. Thank you. Now, for me, the Polaris Lounge has to rank as one of, if not the best airport lounge that I've visited in the US. Let me know your favourite airport lounge in the US down in the comments. It comes with great views across the apron as well as a spacious, comfortable area to work or relax ahead of the flight. There's a good selection of food and a bar with a good range of alcohol too. After all too little time here in the lounge, my flight was called for boarding, but I didn't have far to walk. The gate was just opposite the lounge. My ride across the Atlantic today was this Boeing 767-300ER, originally delivered to Hawaiian Airlines in 2002. In 2018 the lease ended and it was stored in Arizona before United refurbished it, refitted the cabin and put it into service in 2019. Boarding soon followed and it was time to get on board my ride back to the UK. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Hi there. 5L. 5L. 5L? Yeah. Can I cross you? Thank you. Hi. Hello. The United 767 I flew on has three cabins, the Polaris Business Class with 46 suites in a 1-1-1 configuration, Premium Plus with 22 seats in a 2-2-2 configuration and, and then down the back it's Economy with just 99 seats in a 2-3-2 config. All in all it's a surprisingly comfy layout for a 20 year old 767. The Polaris suite is incredibly private with a little walkway to go through to enter the suite. There's a comfy seat which was piled with Saks Fifth Avenue bedding, menus and an amenity kit. The suites are staggered so you never have to see other passengers while you're in your seat which is perfect for a reclusive hermit like me. I love that the IFE starts with a what to expect on this flight section giving a timeline of when the meal services will take place. I wish more airlines would do this, it really helps to plan out your sleep pretty well. I tried the Channel 9 from the flight deck feature that lets you listen to air traffic control but it wasn't working today. My overwhelming impression of the Polaris cabin was how new, clean and shiny it felt on such an old aircraft. You could be forgiven for mistaking this for a newer Dreamliner than a 20 year old 767. At the side of the seat there's a unit with power, remote control and a pop open storage unit with headphones and a bottle of water. <laughs> what can I offer you for dinner this evening? Oh, I just at it. Can I take this spicy chicken out? That course. looks nice, thank you. Oh, 
Chicken. Um, yeah, chicken, please. It'll be lovely. Okay, good. I'll get that for you then. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. United seemed to have a knack of hiring smooth-talking pilots, and today's captain was no exception, sounding more like a late-night radio DJ than a 767 captain. You're going to wait momentarily for at least a non-time without an early departure. Good, you're on United 958. We are going to London. Welcome aboard. Pretty soon I was buckling up as we pushed back for the flight. I do like United's Star Wars safety video. We're excited to have you aboard, and we appreciate your attention as we demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. Push down on the metal fitting and lift. Slip the elastic band over your head and tighten the straps. Not allowed on this aircraft. FAA regulations prohibit tampering with, disabling, or destroying laboratory smoke detectors. We had a fairly short taxi out to the runway today and were soon lining up and getting into the skies for our ride across the Atlantic. Take off we got a lovely distant view of the Chicago skyline. Our route this evening then took us northeast out of Chicago across Lake Michigan, crossing into Canada over Lake Huron. We crossed Ontario, Quebec and Newfoundland before heading out over the ocean, coasting in over Ireland. From there we crossed the Irish Sea in South Wales towards London with a flight time tonight of 7 hours and 26 minutes. Cruising altitude for this flight was 35 and 37,000 feet. Underneath the massive TV is a decent sized tray table that has a handy little stand at the back for resting your tablet on. The seat controls at the side of the seat how this little rocker switch to adjust the seat. The TV's got a great choice of movies and I settled back to enjoy Bombshell, which is about the Fox News harassment scandal. I supped on some wine and chewed on my nuts as we crossed into Canada. There's a good selection of food and drink in Polaris, you get a welcome dinner after takeoff and then an arrival breakfast before arrival. If you don't fancy breakfast you can have the option of using United's arrival lounge at Heathrow where you can grab a shower and breakfast before you leave the airport. For dinner tonight I had the chilled appetizer with beef followed by spicy chicken in a ginger broth. Both were presented nicely and tasted lovely. The sun started to set out the window as I tucked into my food. The immunity kits in Polaris are really nice. They come in this stylish pouch, which is one of the best presented immunity kits that I've ever had. There's a range of Sunday Riley cosmetics, a pen, an eye mask, socks, and earbuds. The Sunday Riley kits are again really well presented in lovely packaging.
I really like the bedding and United Polaris. It's branded by Saks Fifth Avenue and it's really comfy. It was soon time to put down the bed and get some shut eye. Bedtime, the important bit. Um, and this bed is really comfortable, it's plenty of room. The thing that I really like though about Polaris is this bedding that they've got, this Saks Fifth Avenue stuff is really nice. And this pillow behind me, it's a memory foam pillow. You can see where my head's been there. It's really comfortable. It's like a pillow you get at home. It is so nice, honestly. I'm hoping it's going to be just as comfortable when I wake up in the morning, but we will see. <laughs> so for now, I am going to say good night and I will speak to you in the morning and let you know how it goes. Good night. I woke up to the smell of breakfast in the cabin around five hours later as we crossed the coast of Ireland. Breakfast today was spinach and kale bites with chicken sausage and roast potatoes, a strange combination admittedly but pretty nice all the same. Outside the lights of southern England came into view as we commenced our approach to Heathrow early on a Saturday morning. London looked beautiful as ever today. We touched down almost an hour ahead of schedule onto runway 27 White at Heathrow. My flight today cost me £1200 or 1600 US dollars as the first part of a flight from Chicago to Lisbon via London. My next leg with TAP was scheduled for a later date but ultimately was cancelled due to the travel restrictions. This made a cost per mile of 32 pence which is pretty good for a long haul business class flight with United. Overall I was astounded by the service in Polaris, the crew were incredible and couldn't do enough to help throughout the flight. The seat was easily the best US business class seat that I've ever flown in and the meals were incredible. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mount Heathrow Terminal 2. For those of you arriving late, please follow the yellow arrival sign. Please remain seated until the gate is closed. Please remain seated until the gate is closed. I'd like to say a big thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. By now I don't think I need to tell you how much a VPN product helps to protect your data when you travel in the world connecting to public Wi-Fi in the most remote regions. Using a VPN also lets you catch up on entertainment from your home country wherever you are in the world. For me it's great to be able to watch Netflix shows from home while I'm in Asia. I am never going to financially recover from this. Or watch live TV from the UK while I'm sitting in an airport in Canada with Surfshark you can browse the web just like you sat in your living room. There's also countries out there that censor your internet access or even block websites such as Facebook. But with Surfshark you just click on the connect button and you're online unrestricted. Some public Wi-Fi stops you from accessing streaming services such as YouTube and Netflix unless you pay a higher price for access but with Surfshark your session is completely encrypted so you can sit and watch your favourite YouTubers even on the cheapest packages. Surfshark are offering you a cool 85% discount and 3 extra months for free when you use the link below with promo code NOLPHILIPS. Passport control was deserted at this time in the morning and within a few minutes of getting off the plane I was in arrivals and ready for my lift home. Good morning. Just give me one minute. No worries. Sorry. No, just a bit early. <laughs> Uh, 
Hi, how are you doing? Alright, how are you? Yeah, good to see you again. See you, good yeah, morning. Yeah, thank you. Alright, had a long flight. Yeah. Alright? Not too bad. I slept quite a bit, so it was alright. I settled in for the really comfortable two and a half hour journey back home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think to United Polaris down below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching, take care, and see you next time.